the whole purpose of looking at Tetris is we want to know about learning and expertise. It's not that we're studying the game as much as we're studying people's minds and how they learn. If we understood the steps of this expertise and how things glued together, maybe that will give us guidance for uh, how to understand other types of expertises. So we actually started by collecting about 300 hours of Tetris play from 300 different Rensselaer undergraduates. It came to our attention that there was this classic Tetris World Championship out in Portland, Oregon. And you know, maybe we should go out there and see what people who compete for Tetris for a living do. We have them play our homebrew version of Tetris and we record every single interaction that they make. The first time they interact with the Zoid, the last time. Do they push it down? Do they make it go faster? How many times they rotate it? How many times they move it left and right? The key is really decision making. That's what we want to find out. What do expert decision makers do differently than novice decision makers? The Navy is very much interested in settlers, both individually and in teams. We don't really expect it to be a whole lot that the Tetris players are doing that would directly transfer to Navy task. But we do hope that the methods we're bringing to study that will be a model for how to proceed on tasks which the, the Navy does care about. What we're seeing in Tetris and the fact that they haven't reached their limits and as far as we know, people still have unlimited potential. It's just amazing the two are kind of going together.